Ladies and gentlemen, good afternoon. Welcome on the Kelton News. My name is David Sariro, and I have the pleasure to have today over the phone a fantastic, fantastic singer, songwriter, screenwriter, director, and producer. Her name is Harula Rose, and she has released this great album that is called Hear the Blue River, and there is also one song that we're going to play a lot on the radio uh, called Moon and Waves. The music is absolutely fantastic, and she has a lot of stuff that we're going to talk about. And I have over the phone the one and only Harula Rose. How are you, Harula? I'm really great. How are you doing? Thank you for having me. It's a pleasure, and it is an honor. My dear Harula, I had the pleasure to listen to the album because I have some privilege, okay? Some people sent me your album, and I, I said, oh, my God, where that music comes from? This is coming from heaven. I mean, this is the kind of music, you know, so just so the people, so you, you, you guys can have an idea. Imagine that you are in the Bahamas, okay, that you have some coconut to drink, and you're closing your eyes. And the music you will be listening is the one from the album Here, the Blue River. It is absolutely phenomenal. It, it has, I feel some jazz also influence, but also some electro, if you would want me to say, and, and um, some, some pop, some smooth. Uh, uh, it's quite hard to, to, to describe because it is so beautiful. Uh, so first of all, congratulations, Maria Harura, for this. Fantastic, fantastic uh, uh, album. So, um, for the few people who don't know you, Harula, why don't you start to tell us uh, where you're from and what brought you to music? Oh, okay. Um, well, first of all, thank you so much. I'm glad you like it and um, and all the nice words. Uh, oh, my wow. pleasure. I'm glad you like it. Yeah. Um, I come from Chicago, which is actually mm -hmm. where I am right now, too. I grew up in Chicago, and my family is from Greece. So oh, wow. We would Estradisto. Go... Estradisto. Oh, hey, nice. Yes. Yeah, you, 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 you know what it means. It means, it means thank yes. you. <laughs> yes, yes. Um, so I actually learned Greek before I learned English when I was a kid. And I we would go there a lot, you know, and spend time with family and, and cousins and aunts and uncles and everything. And um, so I'm from Chicago, but I spent time abroad. And I actually... I got to live in Spain for a bit, too, and traveled to France quite often when I was there. Um, I was in Madrid for two years, so I feel like I like to travel, and I guess the album, this one, comes from different influences. Like, it didn't feel like it was straight folk, or at least straight American folk. I just mm -hmm. tried to use other um, things that I like about other kinds of music, and um, I guess I loved it since I was a kid. Music was the thing that seemed to unite people and I would hear my mom singing different songs in Greek and my brother and sister would always have music playing or like their their um like CDs or tapes or whatever playing and I don't know I was curious about it and the music in movies and I was like oh wow I guess that's so cool that you get to do that if you have your song in a movie so it's kind of cool to be able to do it I feel lucky for sure. Well, we are very lucky to to hear you and and uh, please send my regards to your to your wonderful family and and the beautiful Greek people who are okay. the the happiest people in the world and the most generous people in the world. They are really really lovely. So really, uh, uh, my uh, congratulations. Um, so tell us about the album uh, "Hear the Blue River." Tell us about how these the the, the song came together. And, and also, uh, forgive my question, I, I might sound unprepared, but uh, I really want to know who wrote this beautiful song. Ah, okay. Um, so I wrote a couple of the songs with friends. Uh, one of them is Jim White. He lives in Georgia, and he's this really amazing writer, like storyteller in general. He's lived a varied life and, um, you know, was a taxi driver and a writer and then was signed to David Byrne's label and just has this really interesting life story and we met at a show and I toured with him a bit and I would sing with his band and I liked the way his stuff sounded so I wanted him to I wanted to co-write or have him help produce some stuff mm -hmm. and so he's got some there's some of him sprinkled on the record which is cool and then mm -hmm. uh, 
my friend Zach Ray, who's toured with some of the most amazing bands. He actually just wrapped up a huge worldwide tour with Death Cab for Cutie this year, and he's toured with, you know, Alanis Morissette and Miles Barkley and all these great bands and has his own performances, and I loved working with him, too. And then my friend Luke uh, is in this band called Fool's Gold, and he's now doing his own thing, too. And it was fun to write a song with him, too. It's like, I, I kind of used it as an excuse to get together with friends because it's, it's fun to see what comes up. I, yeah. Writing by yourself is great, and I'm happy I can do it, but it was really nice to collaborate with different people this time. Yeah, yeah, no, no, that's that's definitely very, very inspiring. And and how would you uh, describe your your um, your your music? Uh, because uh, that that's one thing that I've been trying to do. You have this folk uh, music, the singer songwriter uh, style, because it became a style now, the singer songwriter. <laughs> and uh, but also it has a, a, a foot in the as your contemporary, and I and I hear some jazz a little bit in in, in the bottom. So, how, how would you describe it? Um, I'm not sure because I guess I was trying to do something different with this album, and uh -huh. um, so I'm happy that it sounds like you think that was a successful endeavor. Um, yeah. The first one was very much like straight folk, and and then this one I wanted to try to make songs that felt more. Um, Like, there were just different textures. And so I'm not sure I went for any specific category, but it just uh -huh. felt like whatever was right for that song, you know? Um, yeah. Whatever whatever made that song feel the most, like, alive. Yeah. Yeah, no, definitely. And and also, I, I, I want to add another note is um, the, the official music video that you guys had uh, released. Uh, I'm almost sure that it's... Um, um, Oh, how do you call that place uh, that is um, down Brooklyn? Uh, where did you guys shoot ah, this? You know, yeah, we got all we the stairs. Yeah, it was Coney Island. Coney Island, exactly. Uh, that, yeah. That's where you shot it? Yeah, that's where we oh. shot it. We spent the whole day there. It was super cool. I had never been there before. Yeah. Well, you see, I've never been there, and, and yet I knew that it was shot there. <laughs> yeah, it was cool. I mean, I, I had heard some kind of rumor that they might be shutting it down, and I thought, oh, gosh, well, that seems really interesting and sad, and I want to capture all these places that might be, yeah. you know, that might not exist in the future or that, like, represent something that already happened and passed us by. So it just felt like... Very nostalgic to be there, even though I had never been there before. Yeah, no, it's it's definitely a very very good music video, guys. You have to check it out. Uh, you go on YouTube, you put Haruda Rose Moon and Waves, and and you will see it. It's or you go simply on her website, and it's the first video that uh, comes out on HarudaRose.com. It's a fantastic, fantastic music video. Really, congratulations. Um, and also, my dear Harula, you are very involved in the film business uh, and in the TV business. Uh, you are now uh, producing uh, this a great independent comedy called Permanent, uh, which is starring uh, Patricia Arquette and uh, Rain Wilsonar. I hope I'm not I'm, uh, uh, pronouncing it right. And also many, many other projects. Would you be so kind to let us know uh, what are um, what are you up to and what have you done so far in the film and TV business? Yeah, um, so the bridge, I think, between the two of them is that I've had some music in different movies and shows, and that's mm -hmm. always really cool because it's like two, the two loves of my life, you know, and they kind of converge, and I feel pretty fortunate about that stuff. But I really love the the collaboration that's involved in filmmaking as well. It's really cool. And I've always loved movies. And so I've made a couple of short films of my own. And then um, I was one of the producers on a film. My friend from film school is Ryan Kugler. And he made this movie called Fruitdale Station. And I was on his producing team. And um, then from there, I read my friend's script. And she she wrote this super funny, hilarious script. And, and it's smart. And... And then I, I was involved in getting that going, and it's Rain Wilson and Patricia Arcan. We're editing it now, 
And oh, hopefully wow. it'll come out next year. Yeah, it was really exciting. We were in Virginia all summer shooting, and that was cool because I had never been there that much before. It's a really beautiful place. Um, well, not a lot of people have been there, I tell you that. <laughs> <laughs> <That's funny. laughs> it was cool. I mean, there's so much history, and it's so green. It was awesome. And um, so the next big thing is that in October I'll be in Nantucket, another place I've never been the the island is near Boston and I'll be writing the whole month. It's a writer's colony and I got to I get to go with my script, something I'm writing uh of my own to direct based on a book I love called Once Upon a River. It's such mm-hmm. a cool book, you should check it out. And um Yeah, well definitely, yeah. Yeah, it's really beautiful and some of the songs from the album actually were inspired from from that book. The song Margot was based on the character in the novel and Um, even Songbird has some stuff from the book and so it was cool like exploring that story. Now I get to write the script and um I have some people helping me to hopefully shoot it in the springtime of next year. So I'm I'm pretty excited about Wow, about we all that. are very, very excited and it's beautiful to see uh such a talented artist such as yourself to uh be a prolific to, to do so many things in different fields, but people say it's different things, but I, I don't agree. I think it's one same thing, which is creation, right? It's to create. So now you can create in music, you can create also in different medium, and, and I really, really love what you're doing. I mean, I'm your number one fan, uh, dear. So oh, my gosh. Thank you, you, you so much. You, you have to know that. <laughs> oh, well, I'm going to send you the remix of Moon, Moon and Waves right when we hang oh, up, too, yeah, because yeah. that came out yesterday, and I think you'll really like it. Oh, yeah. Oh, my God. Yeah, I would definitely uh, will replay this. And we'll play it also on the radio. Uh, also, you have released other uh, albums before, uh, which I believe we can purchase on iTunes, right? Yeah, um, there's a couple of EPs and some singles. And these remixes are fun because it's cool to hear what other people interpret from songs. Yeah. So uh, all of those are online now. Um I think one I think they're all gonna be on iTunes. Yeah, and then there's some cover songs that I put on like my band camp or something. Um, ah, that's good. Because you know we we are on fun. iTunes radio so we, we try to push people to buy on iTunes, you know? <laughs> yeah, totally. So I know. Apple all of it's on more. iTunes, yeah. <laughs> that's funny. Yeah, they're so definitely all on it. iTunes. But I, I like iTunes for sure. That's what I use all the time. Yeah, no, no, they're, they're they're very cool. They are very cool, and we're very grateful to them for um for having us. So, uh, w- what are your next um your your, your next your next thing? Because I know people are dying, literally dying, to see you performing live. I, do you have a tour coming? Do you have some performances in New York or or anywhere else? Uh, I am actually way overdue, yeah. <laughs> uh, I need to plan a West Coast tour, which uh-huh. so I think that's going to happen maybe around January, February. And then I know I really want to play in New York again um, really soon. I just got back from Asia, actually. Oh, that's wow. another cool thing that happened. Where did you play in Asia? Games. Where did you play? That was cool. It was China, Taiwan, Thailand, and Macau. Oh wow, good for you. Good. Macau oh, is really fun, really no? interesting. Yeah, oh my gosh, the whole I mean China was very fascinating cuz yeah. I had never been to Asia and the people were so amazing and really responsive to the music and there were so uh-huh. many shows and lots of people and yeah. I just had the best time. I really felt very welcome and people who were familiar with the music and I felt very very lucky and privileged about that. It was so cool. Yeah, yeah, no, for definitely. sure. I know they they would like your music. I, I was a little bit pretentious when I said, uh, "Are you going to come in New York or anywhere else?" You know, like New York is the center <laughs> of the <laughs> world. You know? <laughs> yeah. Well, you know what? I actually need to figure that out because after the Nantucket thing, I'm going to be on the East Coast. I'll be in New York and Boston, so I should set up some shows. That's a really good well, idea. I'm going to do that. If you are coming to New York, you have to let us know. We will go very massively to your shows. And if you see awesome. a crazy man at the first row applauding you, that would be nice. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. Yeah, that'll be really great. Yeah, I look forward to meeting you in person. Yeah, and, and, and I will also, um, I, I will, I promise you, I won't throw um, plates on the floor to break them. I, I won't go hey, to that. You can to call, the, we can do that, but maybe that's like after the show. Yeah, after the show, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm not sure the insurance company will like it if we do it during the show. <laughs> so, what is next 
for you. Uh, what are you going to do next? Because you have all these movies coming out. Um, you have this album that is out. You have this new uh, music video, uh, uh, the Electro Remix. And, and what is next for you? Well, I think I'm going to go into writing mode, really, because October I'll be focused on, on the script and I'm going to bring my guitar with me and hopefully come up with some new songs and then continue to play some shows. Um, and keep doing whatever I've been doing. So I think I want to write some new stuff, though. Well, we're, we we can't wait to hear the, the new things. So, my dear Harula, it was really a pleasure to have you uh, today uh, on the radio, to have you on the show. I, as always, uh, you know, when I, when I hear great music, a cool music, I always know that the person that is behind that music is cool as well. It always represents the soul. And and I was not mistaken that time because you are absolutely a fantastic lady. Uh, once again, ladies and gentlemen, I had on the phone today the very talented Harula Rose. So let me spell it out for you. Uh, it's H A R O U L A and then Rose like a Rose R O S E. She has a website HarulaRose.com. She has released this fantastic album which we're going to play. Uh, uh, today, um, it's called Hear the Blue River. I'm a huge fan of the, of the hit song that's called Moon and Waves. You, you will see why. And, uh, and go to check out on YouTube her music video. And most importantly, go to buy the album on iTunes. Okay. That's very important. And, uh, hopefully the stock of Apple will go up <laughs> with all the money I put in. Uh, anyway. <laughs> And and uh, no, please please do. This is she's absolutely fantastic, and she's a hard working lady, very very creative. And and trust me, uh, uh, she you heard for sure her music somewhere because uh, everywhere that it sounds good, it is from Harula Rose. That's for sure. So my dear oh, Harula, thank you so much. My thank pleasure, so much. my dearest. Yeah. My my dear Harula, but, thank you so much for taking some time out of your very busy schedule for being with us. And and I want you to know, my dear, that the doors of this show are yours 24-7. Thank you so much. It's so good to talk to you. The pleasure is mine. I hope you have a beautiful day. Thank you, my dear. Once again, Isherman, we had Haruda Rose, and my name is David Thoreau on the Curtain News, and stay tuned for more shows on iTunes Radio. Thank you very much. Bye-bye.